Mm -hmm. And I think we should touch a little bit on what we were talking about before the show. And that is, um, we each had an experience with a story in your book, or some of the submissions that I obviously will never see that you guys chose or did not choose, that kind of maybe pushed our button and said, well, I don't like this story, or that seems easy to do. And I found that interesting because we can also use these stories as a way to help us grow, not just inspire us. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, this particular story I read made me, it just pushed a little button in me. It made me feel like like um, the woman wasn't completely maybe authentic and how easy her story was compared to my life. And I had to sit and really look at myself and say, you know, Haley, this is judgmental of you. Everybody has their own story and everybody has to come into their soul and into their true heart's calling in their own path. So what is that about her story that you can relate to and find, you know what I'm saying, and push me mm -hmm. forward. Did you have that intention that you would also kind of push us a little to to kind of, to move forward out of ourselves and not be so self-centered? <laughs> well, I think each, each story is its own journey. Yeah. And some of them, you're right, some of them we just won't be able to connect with as well as others, but others will definitely hit some sort of chord in us that maybe that we just feel like we've been through something almost identical or we just feel a connection with what is being told and I think it will be different for every reader as they go through the stories yeah I do too I think it's a great um, starting point for people who are afraid right or have kept their their story so pushed down and are afraid to speak the truth maybe it'll give them the inspiration to pick up a pen and just journal it just right. where nobody has to read it at first mm -hmm. we actually talked about that on the way up here together we talked about how the importance of the stories that we you know received that we, we really wanted to make sure that the people weren't still stuck in the story mm -hmm. and we did get a few stories where it felt like they were still there and so oh. there's a difference between sharing your truth and hoping that it's going to inspire and empower other people and dumping your story on people and we don't we we didn't want stories that were just dumping and saying this is all the dirt that happened with me to me and nothing's come out of it. Yeah. And so we want to make sure that there was a turnaround and why we did encourage people to write their story even if they fully hadn't come out of it as long as they had actually gained some insight from their story because mm -hmm. I think That's we're nice. all moving through our stories constantly, you know, we're always changing, we're always evolving, we're always learning. And so the lessons keep showing up. So we wanted to make sure you know, there's just an inspirational piece on the other end. It's not the whole dumping, dumping, you know, this is all the junk that happened in my life, and here it is in 2,500 words or less. <laughs> well, I remember in your story, you, you in parentheses, when you were talking about your dad's story in your life, you put history. And I thought, yes, of course, because we have a herstory, right? H-E-R-S-T-O-R-Y. And if we know, if we think about it, History is always evolving. We're making history right now as we sit here and speak of your beautiful book, right? Mm -hmm. So really remaining in knowing that we're in a history and we're rewriting what happened to us when we were little, what happened to us in our 20s, our 30s. For me personally, I'll be 47 tomorrow and moving closer to 50. What do I want to be? What do I want to be this next half of my life? And we all, as you say, Andrea, are in process and hopefully we have moved past that living in it, right? Mm -hmm. In that pain of it. 